Hey guys, Hofstra here. Today I'm going to be covering the new X.30.0.0 Secluded Thicket patch. It's a pretty thick patch with some balancing and some quality of life and a new dungeon. So let's jump into the balancing stuff and get that out of the way. Uh, first, they made the pure evil and the void deal a lot more damage so that people can't just sit in the corner and spam heal and leech the fight. And then they reworked the tablet of the king's avatar. It no longer pierces. They give it a huge damage buff, but took away five shots from it. Still deals a massive amount of damage. It has one range now, but it boomerangs. So technically two range. I found it's just like a good spell now. It costs a lot of MP, but still, it's just a crap ton of damage. Um, they also upped its feed power to 1100. It's pretty awesome. For the quality of life, there's not really much to cover, so I'm just going to skip over that. Then a big part of this update is HP scaling. They pretty much made all the bosses that don't need HP scaling have HP scaling. So that is annoying. Um, like Malphis and Steno, like they really didn't need HP scaling or whatever. I, I don't know, whatever. But they also made Dr. Terrible and the Horrific Creation immune to Paralyze. Um, great, those fights will take longer now. It's not like they're hard fights, they'll just take longer now. Which is great. I'm glad we're bringing this in a great direction. Uh, they also added a good thing to the horrific creation. Uh, gives a little invuln uh, after it turns into the animal. That just gives time for whoever's baiting it, if you're baiting it, because now you can't paralyze it. Um, they also added new skins, so eh, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, the secluded ticket is three bosses dungeon in the um, the court of orcs. Uh, so no more event bosses, um, I guess. Now we're just going for um, Court of Oryx, which is great because everyone loves closing a realm and going to um, Janus instead of Oryx. It's great. I like that. Um, of course, there's keys in the mystery box, though. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so in the secluded thicket, it's going to drop the Penetrating Blast Spell, the Texacodal's Tail, some skull that I don't know what it does, and some robe that's also not on realm I, but i know it gives like 180 mp and like 20 wisdom or something stupid like that so you know a great item for a great dungeon anyway so getting into the actual dungeon itself uh you spawn in this first room and you fight the great basilisk uh guy and it's a pretty easy fight you just got to break the guys around him uh it's nothing too interesting uh they definitely nerfed it from closed testing because I think I got hit for like a 400 or something on closed testing, and I haven't seen anything uh, like that. I did it in a big group here, as you see, and I only saw a couple people die through the entire dungeon, uh, mainly the last boss. Second boss is this weird statue that makes my eyes bleed, and the whole background's kind of eye bleeding, but, you know, if you fight past the blinding yellow textures, um, it's not really a bad fight. Uh, it's just like he spawns some stuff and you have to kill it, and blah blah blah. Uh, I believe he's going to be dropping the skull. I'm not exactly sure because it's not on Realm Eye, and that's where I get my data from. And then the third boss, um, actually a decent looking sprite in my opinion. Um, he kind of like runs around and does these phases and stuff that are hard to dodge unless you done it three times and then you realize that there's like some certain spot you got to stand in. I don't know. I saw something on Reddit. I tried it. Didn't really work out, but luckily I had some HP pots, so. That's great. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, uh, what you died onto it, and what you didn't get as a drop. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Drop.